Hello and welcome to this video on working with files in Python. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to read and write files in Python. We also learn how to work with CSV files. I had a coding challenge at the end of this video in which you would be able to apply what you learned to implement that. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do when working with files in Python is to open them. For the examples of this tutorial, I have a file named example.txt in the current folder and here is its content. Here is an example of how to open a file for reading. In this example, we open a file named example.txt in the read mode, which is represented by the string r. You can also open a file in write mode represented by the string w, so you would be able to write to the file or open a file in append mode represented by the string a so you can append content to an existing file. It is important to close the file after you are done with the file to free up the system resources and prevent data loss. You can use the close method on the file object to close the file. And there is a better way to close the file instead of calling the close function. And that is by using the with open as a statement. Here is how we can use it. In this case, after the indentation inside the with open is finished, the file will be closed automatically. I will show you some examples of this syntax shortly. Once we have a file object, we can read the content of the file using the read method. This method returns the entire content of the file as a string. Here is an example. In this example, we open a file called example.txt in read mode read the contents of the file and store it in a variable called content and print it out. Then we close the file using the close method. Let's run the code and see the content is printed. If we wanted to write this code using with open as a statement, it is like this. And let's run it again. And you see the output is exactly the same as the previous code. In addition to reading from a file, we can also write to a file. To write to a file, we open it in write mode, which is represented by the string w, or we may open it in append mode, which is represented by the string a. If a file already exists, write mode will erase the old content, but append will add to the end of the old content. Here is an example of how to write to a file. In this example, we open a file called example.txt in write mode, write a new line of text to the file using the write method, and close the file. For this example, the example.txt file already exists with this content. So let's run the code and see what happens. As you see, the new content replaced the old content in the file example.txt. Now let's append to this file. This time we open the file in append mode and append this line to the file. And let's run the code and see the result in example.txt. So as you see, the new line has been appended to the old file. Again, if we want to write the code using with open as a statement, here it is. And here we see the updated file with the new line added. Another common use case for working with files is reading and writing CSV files. CSV stands for comma separated values and it is a popular file format for storing data in a tabular format. Python provides a built-in module called CSV that makes it easy to work with CSV files. Writing to a CSV file is simple. You can use the csv.writer method to create a writer object and use the write row method to write rows to the file. Here is an example. In this example, we first import the CSV module and use the open function to open the file in write mode. We create a CSV writer object using the csv.writer method and use the write row method to write rows to the file. The file will be closed at the end of the vid block. Let's run the code and then see the file content. As you see, the example CSV file is created with this content. Now I have a CSV file ready in this folder named example.csv. Now let's see an example of how to read a CSV file. 
In this example, we first import the CSV module and use the open function to open the file in read mode. We create a CSV reader object using the csv.reader method and use a for loop to iterate through the rows in the file. Each row is returned as a list of values. Finally, the file is closed after with statement is finished. Let's run the code. As we expected, three rows in the file have been returned. Please note that the first row returned is the header of the CSV file. Now that we covered how to work with files, it is time for a coding challenge. In this coding challenge, you need to implement a function to create a CSV file in which each row consists of three columns, a number, its square, and its binary representation. Write to the CSV file for the numbers from 1 to 16. In another function, read the CSV file and print the numbers whose square is divisible by 3 or 5. In the application, call these two functions in sequence and print the output. Your output should look like this one. Please pause here and spend 5 to 10 minutes to implement this coding challenge. Then resume to check out my solution. For the solution, first I import the CSV module. Then I have created two methods, create file and read file. In the create file, first I open the example.csv file in the write mode. I create the writer from the csv.writer method. And then I write the header, including the number, square, and binary. Then I create a for loop to go through 1 to 16. And inside the for loop, I call writer.write row and pass an array, including the number, the square of the number, and binary representation of the number. And finally, I close the file. In the read file method, I open the file in the read mode, then I create a reader using the csv.reader file method, then I create a for loop to iterate over the rows in the reader. You remember the row is the list of items that I have in each row. So the first item of the row was the number. I get that number, I compare it with the string number because I want to skip the header. So if it's not the header, then I convert that number because it is in string format to integer. Now I can check if it is divisible by 3 or 5. If that's happened, then I can print that row. And finally, I close the file. And here first I create the file and write to the file and, and then I read the file content. Now let's run the code. So as you see, I have returned the numbers that are divisible by 3 or 5. So far, we have learned the basics of opening files, reading from and writing to files, as well as working with CSV files. In the next video, I'm going to teach about error and exception handling in Python programs. See you then.